Okay, hi, and welcome to the Neo's Makeup. I'm doing this, and I'm doing a foundation wear test, concealer test. Well, not really a foundation wear test, a concealer wear test and powder wear test. But I also knew I had some products. I wanted to get this video done, and I'm like, you know what? I have a face on. I have some stuff I might be able to add in. Let's do it. <laughs> so, recently I was on Wet n Wild's website to purchase the 40 palette, as well as some other things, and I saw they had the option for a mystery bag. So, I was like, I had to do it. Um, I do know one item that was in here. I did give it to a coworker because I do not. She has problems with rosiness in her skin. So I was like, you know what? You can have the um, green color corrector. That's fine. But this is the Wet n Wild Mystery Bag. It was $20. And so let's see what we have inside. I literally have not looked. So let's see. I'm just going to. Okay. One thing I know I saw in here was the. Uh, boost volume. This is the Mega Volume Waterproof Mascara. I don't really use waterproof mascaras that often, but I wanted to try this because I like the. I literally have the Lash Renegade handy because I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to wear that today. Um, but I might actually try this. Uh, let's see. Anything. It looks like it was new packaging and improved formula. Okay, and that's in the shade of very black. We have, oh, on your matte oil absorbent blotting powders. This is from the Pump Collection. Nice. I still have a pack that I have in my car, so I haven't, I still need to finish that. Um, ooh, oh, I already have this. So this is the not, the, not a basic peach palette. I actually really like this color palette. It's really nice and really soft, and that blue is really pretty. So, since I do already have one, this I'll be putting in something for kind of like a giveaway, kind of like what Tati does. Um, because, look, if I have a double up, and I, I'm just going to sit here, I'd rather give it to you guys. Okay, maybe not. This is the uh, Wet n Wild uh, <laughs> Color Icon Bronzer. This is whenever they reformulated them, and they were more of a cream gel. And this is in the shade Queensland. Wait, I think this is the one I use. Okay. I'm running through bronzer, so I might actually keep this one. We're gonna see. Next we have, yes, okay. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Lilac to Reality. I hunted this down whenever it originally came out and never was able to find it, so now I have it. Okay, I'm happy. Which, by the way, that normally is like $5. I've already reached the, like, how much the bag was. Let's see. This is a, oh. Oh. So this is one of their foundation brushes. Uh, lately, I've been enjoying the Sephora. This is the foundation match brush. And I've been using that whenever I use the foundation brush. So this one, we're going to see. I might, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's gonna be good. And we have a. Ooh. Okay, so this is the Wet n Wild Kyler Icon Eyeshadow Quad and Fit for Queen. I believe I had this one because this is part of their uh, Fire and Ice collection. Fire Dragon Ice Dragon collection. So, uh, I think I do have this. If so, it's going to be put in that little side pile for a giveaway. And yeah. Which I am putting some stuff together for a giveaway because I have like some things I'm like, I want to get back to you guys. And this is the, oh, I love you. And I already have you. Okay. You're newer. Okay. Sorry. This is the Wet n Wild uh, color icon, right? No, Mega Liner Metallic Eyeliner in Pink Coffin. This is part of their Gothic Graphic Collection. I do have this, but the Gothic, like mine is a little bit older, so I might keep this. Then I don't really use like pink that often. So this is going to be put to the side because I still undecided. Okay, this feels like a ooh, highlighting powder. And Winter Falls in LA. I do have this one. I used it in my Godzilla. I do love this highlighter. So again, this is going to be going in the little mini giveaway pile. It's a very nice iridescent highlighter. I like it. Uh, ooh, kind of want to use it now today. So this is the Color Icon Baked Blush in Hummingbird High. Hummingbird High, sorry. Um, 
This is part of their Flights, Flights of Fancy collection. I like how I actually remember these collections. Um, this one was the first to sell out, so I never got hold of it. Okay. I'm going to be liking this. It's basically a, like a highlighter. <laughs> it's like a very... Oh no, okay. It looks like we're down to the last product. Um, it's a very like nice iridescent highlighter. Not iridescent, but like... Right. This is one of the Liquid Cat Suits in the High Shredding Formula, and this is in the shade... Flirt Alert. I will say I'm not a big fan of this formula. Not because it's not nice. It's a really nice long wearing like gloss, but I don't normally wear that. I say that as I have a gloss on my lips. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, it is really pretty. I know these are like a high pigment, high shine, long lasting gloss. That's why they call it like a uh, high shine liquid lipstick. But the ones I have, I never use. So I prefer to have you guys enjoy this. So I'm going to put this in the collection as well. In that little mini bundle as well. So, let's see, it looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 products that was in this box, in this bag, plus the bag itself, which I love. This is the Gothic Africa. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, oh no, 12 products. Wow. So I'm actually really happy with that. Uh, 12 is my lucky number. That's why I'm like, oh, wait, 12 products for $20. That's really good. So, I would definitely say, even though I do, because I'm kind of a collector of Wet n Wild, I do have some of these items, and the others I'm like, I've been wanting to try. Let's see. So, it looks like five of the items are being are going to go to you guys. So, that means, and then one already went. So, that means six items I will be keeping. I'm not mad at that. If I'm paying $20 and I get six items that are normally like $5 each. So let's think. That's like $30 and you get some more stuff that I feel like, oh, I don't have that yet. It's nice. So, uh, I actually really enjoyed this little bag. Do I think it's worth it? If you do not have a lot of Wet n Wild and you're like wanting to sample some of their like classics as well as some of their limited edition collections, I'd say try it out. I personally really enjoyed this. I don't think I've seen any other people do this thing and I haven't looked for it. <laughs> but I personally really enjoyed this. So yeah, I'd recommend it. I'm just looking at this highlight. Wow. Looks better in person. Sorry, it's the new Fenty. Uh, hollow at me. Anyway. <laughs> um, by the way, I was not kidding when I said I had the Lash Room Gate handy. But... Yeah, I'd say I'm really impressed by this, especially with how much you get for $20. So, yeah, I'd recommend it. If you're more of a fan, you're just a casual fan, but you want to see what they have, try it out. You might find something you really enjoy in here. Like, I know I like that bronzer, which is why I'm like, I might be holding on to her. Uh, the highlighters, I've been wanting to try. Um, the blotting papers, I have, and I use blotting papers quite a lot because I've been saying I need to bring some in for work, so those I will be holding on to. And yeah, I actually really like this collection, this little box bag thingy. So yeah, that's nice. Um, I'm going to leave it off at that. I do have to get running because I'm going to a friend's birthday party and I still have like an hour. But I need to get, I need to finish up what this that I was doing. So I'm gonna run. Thank you for watching. If you did like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you like me and want to see more, please do subscribe and click the little bell button because every time I see a video, you'll get a notification. Aside from that, I hope you have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are, and I will see you next time. Bye.